Hello. In today's video, we're going to be modifying the exhaust on the 1962 Burns Ridermatic. The reason why we're doing this is at a show last year, we were pushing the tractor hard, ploughing, and the fuel started to boil. We thought it would be fine with the exhaust here because they're at different levels and there's a shroud between them. But no. The exhaust actually comes out right onto the bottom of the fuel tank, heating it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this exhaust but instead of taking it here which would make it a bit easier because it's coming almost straight from the port and we're going to put it in this cutout here which is for the exhaust on the original engine the first thing we did was get a piece of scrap like this and we made a new manifold. Obviously we haven't drilled the hole for the exhaust yet. We borrowed a pipe bender from a friend. Thanks Brian. Um, but it wouldn't allow us to have the radius that we wanted and that would work. So we tried with a smaller piece of pipe, which is just about what we want, but we worry that it'll be too small. So we've got a couple of 45 degree bends. In order to accurately drill a hole in the manifold, we've made up a template and I've been carefully um, hitting it with this hammer to get the outline of the hole. We've cut out the hole on our cardboard template, but it's very close to the thread, so we'll ha when we actually weld the pipe to the actual manifold, we're going to have to be careful about that. We wanted a bit of threaded pipe on our manifold, so we've cut one of these joiners in half. Um, we put a taper on the inside of our manifold and Dad carefully tacked it all the way around, being careful not to warp it. The reason why we're doing this on the inside, not welding on the outside, is because these holes for these bits to go through are very close to the pipe and we're not sure how e if we'll actually be able to get the nuts on. Our next job is to clean this up so it's flush because there's no space on the exhaust port of the engine. We're going to use the lathe to clean up the weld on the manifold. It's in the chuck and we've measured it and it is not warped. The first thing to do always if you're operating the lathe is to put on safety glasses, even if you're wearing glasses already. Turn it on. very well except for this bit where the weld seemed to not to have penetrated so what we're going to do is we're going to re-weld that and then um, clean it up again and then skim over the entire surface of the manifold it turned out reasonably well this is the face of it now does it fit
Yes. We've welded together all of the parts for the exhaust. And this is what it looks like. Now we need to put the muffler on and see what it look how it looks. We've put the muffler onto the exhaust pipe and bolted it onto the engine. We thought at first we were going to need a bracket, but it's quite stable and it doesn't look like it's putting any strain on the exhaust port. Now we need to see A if it'll go into the Boland's cutout and B if it'll look good. Let's see. It fits and it looks quite good. We've put a couple of coats of heat paint on the new exhaust, but before we fit it, we're going to fit the old exhaust to see how the tractor runs and sounds with the old exhaust so we can compare it to the new one. So I'm now going to get the tractor off the bench and put the new exhaust on. See you in a second. This is the old exhaust on tip over. This is the last view of the old exhaust. We'll now go and get the new exhaust on. See you in a second. We've got the new exhaust fitted. That turned out quite good. Although it took a lot longer than we first expected. another project done please feel free to comment we always reply to your comments thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye please subscribe to my channel like this video and see our other videos more to follow as we do more on this tractor bye